Okay, Vino Black, folks, and basically you can come back to the beginning of the video, and this is a current, and remember I always tell you the sun's in the well, it's very easy to, and then basically just come back to this, and you know that's the sun, and this is the box, and this is what's in that box, blown up so you can see it, and all this stuff's on the backside, and this is where we can know, actual factual, that all this, and also I'll take you to JPL, and I've been screwing up by not doing this, okay? DA14s is right there with Earth right now, okay? Pretty darn close. It's that far away from Earth. It's fine, we're not, it's pretty, we're pretty much, you know, that was the closest object that's ever going to come by to your great, 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 great grandkids, okay? This 22 and stuff that they're talking about, 2022 and all this crap, it's a bunch of horse hockey, okay? So now what we do is we blow out. And remember, there's nine planets because you do count Pluto. We have such a hard time looking at Pluto. And let me show you the actual factual why. There's way more than just this, too. This is gas. This is a gas map. These are dark areas out in space that we know of, and this is that light curvature. Now, if we lose more of this stuff out in space, we will get hotter here on Earth because we will get more sunlight from the sun, okay? This is a map of space that basically, and it's listed right there, and that's how it's listed when I pulled it down off the internet too, okay? This is a map of gaseous areas out in space, okay? So come back to this map and look at it the sun and then this is how we get the light curvature and what we get for uh, sunlight and like I've told you to get to Mars you got to do a lot of zigging and zagging there's a road map to get to Mars ladies and gentlemen NASA's got it and I've showed it to you in one of my videos before and everybody you know comments 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 comment as much as you can uh, email me too I fear I've, I've not even it's not no fear I am concerned that they've been blocking my emails for more than two years ladies and gentlemen yes correct ladies and gentlemen that is illegal. Well, they've been doing it for at least more than a year, okay? But I haven't cared because I got sick and tired of messing with my emails, okay? And it's and what I'm talking about is on tube, okay? So now, what we do is we come in on all this, we can zoom in, and what we'll show you is when I even go over to the other blow-up, you'll see that basically this is A, ACE over here, and that's what the last video was. That's what we called it ACE because stereo A is ACE. It's over there, right here. And it shoots across and it can only see the side of the sun. Well, it actually can on core shots. It can see the sun and everything else. And I'll be able to show that in a, in a few seconds too. Then B's over here shooting back this way. But when you're shooting straight across and you're only getting the side of the sun and you're seeing the CME action coming off the sun so they don't use the limbs so you can see everything that's going on. You can see all the, the electrical magnification, the light curvature that comes off the CMEs that come off the sun, the material that comes off the sun, the radioactive material. Okay, you're only going to see when you're shooting straight across ACE and only shooting the side of the sun and not the limb on there, you're only going to see this area right here. Boom to boom to this big mark there that I'll show you here. When we're so any footage pretty much is going to be here from Stereo B. I got ACE and that's what it's called. The one before this was Hottie. Wow, ACE, be no black. Okay, so you got Saturn in this there but you got you can see where it's at you can see where Saturn's positioned at on this and then I'll move up and you'll see where Jupiter's positioned at so you know then in the last video that when A is shooting across and only shooting the side of the Sun by looking at the white mark which I wasn't noticing before you can only see what's here so basically that planet is about right here because I've got this on the 24th on this footage here so I can move it left and right and as you know watching that footage you've seen Mercury just coming into view just coming past the sun, which is a little orange spot right there, it was just coming past, and you could just see it. So the idea, you know that the planet that we have found a long time ago when we were looking at the meatball doing its action over by Jupiter, past Venus, and yes, Venus is way up here now, and we know that, that this planet is basically right here that we've been watching for a long time. And I'll take it real fast. I'll, I lied. I'll show you a little bit off of A, but the rest of the footage, and that's the planet there that we've seen. So you know that that's there for sure. So now the rest of the stuff is going to be from B, okay? So when we're looking over at Stereo B, and I've got us two there real fast, lucky because it takes time to queue this stuff up. When we're over at B, this is what we're getting, okay? And when you see the magnetical just a little bit coming down off. Now we've had CME action. We've seen the two planets that we've seen before, and we'll go back in date and time a little bit on this. But for right now, we'll just show you that we're look, shooting from over at B behind, okay? And that planet is there, okay? And that's what I was blowing up to, showing you the magnetical there on it. And we'll pop over again real fast. And there you can see a little bit of the magnetical hanging and dangling down, okay? So there's another planet, but no matter what, you've got to realize that we're looking from B across here, okay? 
looking this way, and then I can go to JPL real fast since I was knowing how to use this zoom now. And we're looking out, and you get we'll get an idea of you can see where we're shooting from B over here to the right on the right hand side of. Okay, it would be our left hand side when you're sitting on Earth looking at the sun. It's your left hand side over here. Okay, so you know that when B is shooting across, we can zoom out. And you can see that when we're looking across this way, okay, that that planet that's up behind, and then we got to zoom in so that you can see where Mercury's at in Earth. And I grabbed the wrong zoomer, but let's zoom in. You will see the factual actual. You see, you got, you got Mercury and Earth, and that's over here is where that's at. And we zoom out, and you can see that it's not Saturn that you're seeing right over this area, okay, massive area, and there's nothing over there, okay? Because we bring everything in, Uranus, Pluto, and Neptune, and you go back to the very beginning of the video, oh, I showed you the map, and it's that box map is perfect, folks. Just like this stuff is perfect, okay? There's no, there's no glitches here, okay? And absolutely, that is not Saturn. It's up that you can see up behind Venus, behind Mercury, and Earth. I apologize about saying Venus. Venus is right there where you can see where it's at. And it's on the other side of the sun where you don't see it in the footage, okay? So now we're going to go pick up some of this B footage. And here we are at the B footage, and we'll go up a little bit. And you, I think you'll see a little bit more of the magnetical off this because we don't have as much electrical energy coming across. And you'll see a little bit more of, and I think you can see the magnetical to begin with, somewhat taking shape down here. And I bet you we'll be bingo on our object as we go up. Let's follow as we go up. We'll go slow. And yep, see what I'm saying? You can see the magnetical line there, okay? You see how I was able to find it by looking for a straight line lower in the dark area, see? And then it comes up right up to the planet. And we've got our two planets that are there, okay? Because more than likely, this is not Jupiter there either, okay? And we've seen the magnetical on these planets before. And now I'll go down and uh, actually, and you can see some in CME action. And then remember that too. I got to go back here real fast to, I kind of lied a little bit because pop over here. You're going to see CME action when we look on the 23rd. And I don't have the 23rd here. So I'm going to queue up a date and go back and remember that the CME action is showing you. You see from the CME action of the sun, you know that this is in our solar system. Okay. Just for showing you this, I don't even have to go back to the 23rd. You know, and you've seen me showing you the CME action coming off of the sun, that this is within a one IU because basically it's pretty much in the same distance from that Earth is away that we've showed you. Go back and watch the last video. Wow. Ace. Hottie Wow Ace Beano Black. Okay. So just going to the 23rd, we see the two planets. We don't even have to go back to the 22nd or whatever, but I will. For the hell of it, we'll just go to the 22nd, okay? As you can see, they're just that, that one's just barely going out of view, and we were at the 24th before this, okay? Show you where we're at on the footage, and then we'll pop down, and I was able to show you the magnetical line. You were able to even almost see it at this resolution. You can see the magnetical going up there on that planet. Now, these are the two planets that you know that from looking at the alignment with, alignment with Mercury, that when we go back to JPL, looking at the deal, and I pop in here real fast, not being queued up, but no matter what, as I use the zoomer, okay, and we zoom in and we zoom out, you can see that A is over here on this side because Earth's sitting there looking at the sun, and that's what you're going to see from looking at the side of the sun and not having the limb out, okay? So as we take and rotate around, you're going to be able to see that the actual factual, that looking from over here at B, okay, we're at B taking a look at this footage because the Ace was the other video. And we're looking across and there's nothing there, okay? And then we'll zoom out. There's nothing back there. You see that? I'll pop Jupiter out, but Jupiter's not gonna be in the shot. Can't be in the shot from shooting over from, that's right, B, okay? When B's shooting across and not having a limb, it can't see it and there's nothing there, okay? So, and you're seeing, as I zoom in, you're seeing Mercury and Earth in this footage that we're showing you from B, right? And I zoom out, and there's nothing there, okay? There's nothing there, folks. Go back to the map at the beginning of the video, okay? But no matter what, I'll hurl up by hook B, and there's B from the 23rd, and you got both those planets right there, okay? And they're directly across from Mercury, okay? Pretty much in alignment. You can see Mercury's getting in alignment with those two planets right there, okay? And like I showed you in the earlier zoom in here, 
that I've showed you the magnetic line. Okay, here we go. You can pretty much see it down here. You can see that. You see that magnetic line you can see as we move up? I'll go up slowly. But you can kind of see the magnetic line there. Yep, you can see it on that one. And that one also does a little bit of a flare back there. You can see it do a little bit of a flare. I'm going to blow up a little bit more on that. That's real good footage. And as you can see, you're going to see that it's electrical and magnetical of it throws the light off out into space as that planet is getting some CME action. As you can see, you can see the light. You can see electricity. You can see this CME, this atomic energy going through space, dust particles. And then those dust particles, as they get up there to that planet, finally way the hell out there, it does that. This planet will do that CME reactive flare to this coronal mass ejection. Uh, let me get it up. And as it does its coronal mass ejection reactive flare of its atmosphere, and you, you see, you go back to the video before this one, Hottie, Wow, Ace, Beano Black, and you will see the reactive flare that Earth is putting off in the A footage. Now, this is all B footage, and then I'll pop out real fast. We'll get to 400 so I don't blind you. And those are the two planets off to the right that we've been seeing for a long time and seeing the magnetic lines to them. And then we get to like 125, and you got Earth and Mercury there, and this is from the 23rd, and then we'll pop over to 22nd real fast and finish video job. Here's the 22nd. I'm just kind of trying to give you some more actual factual on the magnetical line because you guys have all understood. I mean, anybody can figure that out showing you. I've been showing the magnetical connections and I'm all about electricity and seeing it. And you can see the magnetical line big time here on the 22nd too. And we've seen it way bigger at, in times previous too. I was going to see that if we go up here and customize, go 999, see if we get any... Uh, CME reactive flare on the 22nd and so forth and so on. And you can go to Stetchy and check all this stuff out myself, yourself, ladies and gentlemen, too, you know, but I'm always, always trying to give you the freshest that I get in there fast and, and you basically, that's why you kind of come to Beano be no Black. And number one thing is you come to Beano Black for the facts, okay? Forget the truth. Truth is brainwash, okay? The actual facts, the data, the fact, you got it right in front of your eyeballs. And I've showed you by zooming in and zooming out that if you count the planets, there's nine if you count Pluto, and then we found three more planets, 10, 11, and 12. And I've been showing you that from showing the magnetic lines ever since anybody's been watching me watching the magnetic lines that were, we found when we were looking at the comet because they had to turn around to look at this comets that were all of a sudden coming, okay? And then I see if I can throw this in some of that comet footage that we've got. A guy down south has got some great uh, comet footage, so we're gonna go show that. So this shows you actual factual, remember, a and B, Mercury, and we look for having uh, Earth there in the Y, and then you know that basically over to the left here is B, and that's A. So you watch that white line, and you'll see what on the half shot of what you can see. We found those planets. Now, if anybody was watching the video that I made yesterday night, you will basically go there, and I can't remember what the name I had on it, but you go to the, I always have my date and time here down here to the right. So on the 25th, the video I made, you'll see how Venus was looking so much bigger, and this is fresh here, so it was it was a wild electrical activity out in space. So if I do all this actual factual, folks, we've got 12 planets in our solar system, no matter what. Now these are objects that are large that are coming around, and this is kilometers, okay? So this stuff is big, okay? On the 25th yesterday, we had this. This is gonna be moving away. We'll get some quake activity out of that. Then we'll have a lull for a little while because this 23 meter one, maybe it'll give us some activity on March 18th, but you can damn well expect on the 3.8 kilometer coming around on the 20th, we're gonna get some great earthquake action coming around two days before, two days after. And then I remember, if you watch my, and these guys are great artists and stuff like that. I can't say too much about the music because I'm not playing the music. And then basically this guy has got great scientific, and we're sharing the data here on the factual actual of these comets. And this is great footage, beautiful footage that he's got. And you're also going to see the atmosphere. And yes, you got shooting stars, ladies and gentlemen. Electrical action, comets, asteroids. And then check out that auroral action. And this is down south, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. This is that. That is from our equator. Okay. You get heat from the equator because the idea that we're spinning. And th yep, that is our roller bearing action there that you were seeing, that redness that you were seeing back there. I see how much I got for footage time and see if I can pop back in here. And let in fact, Beano Black was nailing earthquakes two and a half years ago. I can get them right down to NASA. It's just like 25 minutes before they hit, just like NASA.